Like Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We got some more State of Decay 2. Fair warning. So, I have uh, content for not only State of Decay, but uh, Vigor and some other stuff. So, I'm just trying to get the stuff out uh, as quickly as I can and put it on the channel. So, like the uh, thumbnail says, we're going to call in the military. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to have a traitor as a leader. As soon as you have a, uh, a traitor as your leader, you're going to get uh, the mission, uh, Friends with Benefits. They're going to be soldiers uh, from the military that come in, and you can become allied with them, or you use this method to just create a soldier enclave, and you can do it as many times as you want. Now, I did do a video on this method, but it was focused on uh, recruiting and getting the criminals. So if you guys have already seen that video, you're going to know the technique. If you guys have not seen the video, this will be new to you. And then this is part of a series. So uh, later in the video, I'm going to kind of continue what I did based off of my first um, episode, which was called Road to Nightmare and Beyond. Because we don't really know, I don't, I don't know the name of the next um, difficulty zone yet. Um, so I'm going to do a playthrough on the new difficulty zone, which I, I hope is dropping, like, at the end of this month. Which is, like, now. <laughs> I mean, I, I hope it is. I think it is. I don't really know. So, I know it's coming soon, though. So my game plan was to just fill my map with uh, soldiers. They're, like, some of the best survivors you can get. You know, the first video, I picked all, like, the best survivors I could. I broke that down uh, for the people that saw that. So, so here's the first um, enclave, or one of the first ones. And I'm just kind of checking them out, and then I'm shutting my game off. I'm actually not going to give them the med kits. You can become allied with them right away if you want by giving them first aid kits. But I'm going to check them out. I'm going to shut my game off. By doing that, when I come back, the mission reappears. And they're, they're, you know, they, they stay as an enclave. You can do it as many times as you want. I think I did it all together uh, ten times. So there's three in each enclave. So that's 30 soldiers on my map. So when, when I say calling in the military, you are definitely calling in the military by doing this. Uh, right now with this one, I'm, well, let me show you first on the map. So I had one where I'm at now. Here's the second one, the grunts. So that's two soldier enclaves uh, let's see here here's a third one we're just neutral I haven't done any missions for him yet so that's four one two three four okay so we have four enclaves uh, yep stranded soldiers so this five uh, the uh, number six and we got seven so right now I have seven so seven times three what's up I don't know, 21 soldiers. Now, I did have like 10, but I did recruit um, some of them. Because when you shut your game off and you come back, they become an enclave. So you'll get like a, a random mission to bring them fuel or, you know, or something. And you can become allied with them and still recruit uh, one of them. But I, what I will do is I'm going to give these guys um, their med kits. Because <clears throat> I think I've had enough of my technique. <laughs> So I'm going to give them the med kits. So like I try to do video like on stuff that will help you guys or stuff that I use myself. Like I'll just do a video on it. Oh, that's nice of you. We're with you now. Just hit us up on the radio when you're ready to use us. That okay, wasn't cool, easy, cool. but we made so, a strong ally. We'll need each other in the days ahead. All right, so we come, we became allied with them, and they'll help us assault play cards. So you can use your uh, radio command. You can call them in. They'll actually come help you um, assault play cards, which is really cool. And you probably can use that um, in Nightmare so, or the new difficulty. Sure. So now that I've covered how to call in the military, you talking to me? we're going to kind of continue yeah. the series. Um the series here is to beat the new difficulty zone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record episodes on Nightmare just until it comes out, and then we'll start doing that. Which I've never done episodes on Nightmare Zone. 
and I haven't actually even played on Nightmare in a while. So we have a survivor in need, and for some reason, this survivor is just chilling in a play cart. Like, I don't know why you get these missions where survivors are in need. They're in, like, play carts or infestations. It doesn't make sense. But, I mean, it is what it is. So let's just jump on in and get it done. He's down, okay? I'm not worried at all about these plague zombies because most of my s survivors are plagued on. Um, they're immune to the plague. So they can hit me all they want. You guys ain't giving me that freaking virus. It ain't happening. Uh, we're on Dread Zone right now. So for the rest of this video is Dread Zone. Um, I do have episodes already done. They're um, on Nightmare. So I think there's one uh, play card left on the map. And then I'm going to switch maps. I'm going to get out of here. I played too long on the green zone. Definitely. And I just feel like uh, switching to a new map and starting things over is uh, the way to go. See you. If you missed the first episode, you can see it on my playlist and on the channel. Um, I showed how to kind of, the best way to start a new community towards beating this um, new difficulty zone. So there's one last play card. And then we are going to grab our, we're going to grab our stuff and we're going to get the hell out of here. We're going to go to a new map, switch it to Nightmare, and hopefully this new difficulty uh, drops soon. I am going to be a little quiet and like uh, stealthy, 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 as I sneak up uh, to this uh, play card. And what, we're seven and a half minutes in, guys, so if you guys are still watching this video at seven and a half minutes, definitely drop a like, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, just hit the subscribe button now and get it over with. I'm here for a job, time to do it. All right, we're going to try out some of this uh, new dynamite. Let's check it out. I don't know. It's not that good. I grabbed some dynamite from the bounty broker. Look, I just used it all. <laughs> it didn't even kill it. So, uh, I think I'm throwing pipe bombs now. He killed. I didn't even have to use my uh, frag grenades. The frag grenades are really good, by the way. So if you have a, uh, if your leader is a warlord, um, and you set up, oh, I forget the name of that thing. Um, forgive me, guys, but you can craft ammo and you can make frag grenades and uh, landmines. It's an armory. That's what it is. I think it's called mine. Okay, so we actually have one more play card. So there was three. This is the last one here. Now this survivor, uh, his name is uh, is Jeff, and he is immune to the uh, blood plague. So I'm really not worried about him getting affected or anything, but I'm still just kind of playing it smart. Stealth kills are always fun. So. We've worked hard to get this far. Just yeah, guys, we're gonna we're, um, we're gonna move maps. We're gonna switch to Nightmare. I'm gonna do some episodes on Nightmare for anyone who might want to watch it. I know it's not gonna get a ton of views. Uh, Time to take out the trash. But you know, some some of you guys like to watch um watch this stuff. So let's uh let's blow this thing up. Definitely hurt it. Go. I'm throwing thermite grenades. I'm throwing, you know, frag grenades, molotovs, uh, fire bombs. I'm throwing everything at this thing. 
Like, it's still alive, too. I'm on Dread Zone. Get the hell out of here, you stupid fella. Well, I guess that's it. No more blood plague in this town. Alright, sweet. So, it's... it. It, that one was a little bit harder. It was the last one. I don't know if it's supposed to be harder, but... That's a nice one. Alright, guys. So, I parked my vehicles. I filled them up with um, rucksacks. I grabbed the vehicle I wanted to bring. And we are... Uh, we are going to move maps and switch to uh, Nightmare. So if you guys are following me, next time you see uh, the next episode to this, will be in a new map, it'll be on Nightmare, and I hope to be able to switch to the new difficulty zone, the red zone, the horde mode zone, whatever the hell they're calling it. And we'll see how difficult this thing really is. Um, yeah, we'll find out guys, we'll find out. It's going to be soon, though. It's going to be soon. I know that. I'm pretty sure they said the end of October. But things do change sometimes, you know? Like bugs come up and different things. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. Yes, we are leaving. Leaving is permanent. Let's get the hell out of here. Confirm. Oh, which map? I wish there was more maps. Hmm... Meager Valley, Drucker County. I just did Drucker. Providence Ridge. Um, I don't know. I've already played him a bunch, so it doesn't really matter. Maybe I'll do like Meager Valley or something. Maybe Meager Valley. Um, but that's about it, guys. We're gonna we're gonna move. We're gonna switch to Nightmare. I'll see you in the next uh, episode of the series. I appreciate all the support, everyone, and I'll. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.